ask them which one's the engineer and which one's the the fireman. Which one do you think? The fatter one or the skinny one? <laughs> the skinny one is the fireman. How long have you been trying? Twenty nine years. Wow. <laughs> He's been here for five. What size coal are you burning? What size? It's anywhere between two inch to five inch. No, you have to fill your water tank. We fill it every trip. We'll fill it on the way back down. So you do fill it every trip? Yeah. It, it holds five, uh, 4 thousand gallons. We'll burn about two thousand. In one long trip, you need three fills yeah. in that long trip. Is this, is this a typical tank on most of the steam engines? Yeah. That size? Yeah, well, for this size engine, this is a class seven. Got a smaller water tank. On this mountain, you can't go over eight miles. When we we got the water tank up here, and that's the water tank is seven and a half. You might have six inches of water left. Look at that truck. Whoa. I bet you this thing spins like really fast, too. We just had a front part made on one we got down there, what we call the bore. Just the bore itself was 500000 Have you heard of the one Crossman? It's a... That is a really fast one. Yeah. It's over 100 miles. I don't want to ride on one of them. That's too fast for me. <laughs> Whoa! You wanna look at the fire? Yeah. Let's look at the fire. Wow, that's burning hot. Yeah, he's the fireman, so he would know. He shovels all the coal from there. Yep. Wow, you just keep shoveling, shoveling. Oh, oh yeah. About every 30 seconds, I've hit about six shovels. Wow. Wow, shovel. That's crazy. And look how clean his floor is too. The engineer sits right here. Wow. I can tell that your train going to take a breather. Yeah. That's probably why we stopped here. Yeah, this is as far as we get. When it gets super black coming out of the stack, does that mean it's just like working? I just throw coal. Uh-huh. Every time the smoke turns black, that's when I throw coal. Oh, I see. And so when it burns clean, it's when you're not. It's as hot as it gets. Oh, I see. This line would have been serviced in the beginning by what's called a rod engine. Typical engine you see in the movies with the steam cylinders on the side. They would have got their water at the depot. Marlington, Cass, German all had water towers. This engine, the Heisler, was logging in. It was meant to be in the woods on steep grades, pulling logs out, pulling equipment in. The trade off to be able to do up to a 12 percent float is the speed. Top speed on this is about 20. Some of the shades and climax are talking 8 to 10 miles an hour at top speed. But they can pull very heavy loads up to these grades. Typical steam engine, uh, rod engine, even modern day diesel, 3 to 4 percent of the grades. And the logging engine, the geared ones, can do up to a 12 percent grade. Uh, about the speed that you'll find on our nation highways is 9 percent. <coughs> so, what the engines, the logging engines do, they would use natural sources of water. And they worked their way through the mountains, going from one valley or holler to the next. They would use natural streams or springs. And the way they bring the water on board is called a steam adductor. The steam comes up through a nozzle, through a venturi, kind of like a rocket nozzle. The same way that an aircraft wing creates lift, the adductor creates lift, draws the water up. We're probably bringing 150 gallons per minute right now. So 1929 Heisler is a geared logging locomotive. This started out, was built in the Erie PA, was brought down to West Virginia, to Raynell, West Virginia, to the Meadow River Lumber Company. And it's been in service its whole life. Wow. It's never been stuck in a museum or anything. All 12 wheels are driven. You have two pistons set up in the V formation. You run the central crankshaft. Mr. Heisler saw the shades with the vertical pistons and the out, uh, the outside line shaft, he thought it was inefficient because they had a 90 degree bubble gear at every axle. So he came up with this. Less moving parts, a little more efficient, but a lot harder to work on. 
because you got a crawler and it's working on it. Yeah. So everything's dripping with grease and oil. And, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty much how it's been since the day it was built. Oh. Nothing's really been changed. <clears throat> Back of the boiler. To me, the fireman's the most important person. He's the one that keeps the fire going for steam, but he also controls their water level. You can see behind this sight glass yeah. where the water level is. And that's got full boiler pressure behind it. Special glass to hold the pressure. <clears throat> if this goes too low, right about here, if he lets it get down that far, let's top what's called a crown sheet that's inside of our firebox. If that gets uncovered by the water, very bad things happen. What bad things? Well, the boiler can blow up, but we haven't had anything like that since the early 1900s, okay? That's you want to see works. where the fire's at? Uh, it won't jump out at you, won't it? So when the fireman needs to put coal in there, he hits that button. Uh, Reminds me of the game Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> <laughs> what you just heard there was actually an air compressor. Yeah. A steam powered air compressor. And that's for our air brakes and for our sanders. In case when it gets really slippery, we can blow a little bit of sand underneath our wheels. Oh, that's interesting. Is that what the little tube is? Sorry, yeah. Did you even know that? Most engines, steam engines like the rod engines that normally travel this type of track, the very flat track, uh, oh, we only have the front that. because they only go frontwards. But since the logging engines, a lot of times you switch back, uh, mm -hmm. we have them both rear and front. Oh, oh wow. Hey, look, he's even got a sunroof up there, too. Yeah, that's our air conditioner. <laughs>